Nearly 70 miles off the central Florida coast, the Coast Guard found the capsized boat two South Florida teens were last seen in while fishing Friday before they went missing. We don't give up. You know, this is, this is about our children, and uh, we believe in them. We, we know that people have been out there longer. People have survived. We have to keep going. The families of missing 14-year-olds Austin Stefanos and Perry Cohen spent Monday on the beach with the help of neighbor and NFL Hall of Famer Joe Namath. And we just keep on looking until we get an answer. Loved ones pleading for the public's help to look for debris, offering up a $100,000 reward if anyone finds their boys. And that's why we're on the beach. We want everybody to once again, from Palm Beach all the way up to the coast of Georgia, get on down there and look for anything odd that doesn't look normal and report it immediately. Understand uh, zero. Coast Guard officials tell the AP they've searched over 26,000 square nautical miles for the team so far, but tracking drift patterns is difficult. Rescuers plan to zero in on the Jacksonville coast based on where they found the boat. As the family looks for clues on the beach, the parents insist their boys at 14 were old enough to be alone on the water. I don't want to comment any further on what you know, uh, on, on people's view of, 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 you know, if they were too young or not right now. Right now, I want to focus on finding our boys. Coast Guard officials urge the public to look for any suspicious debris on beaches and report it. Joshua Plogel, the Associated Press, Tequesta, Florida.